Hi everybody, it's Timmy, and today I have a, something a little bit different because I want to experiment. As most of people in the northern hemisphere know, it's winter, and uh, winter is the like the best time for pests and disease to develop in your plants, in your house plants, especially if you have plants that uh, stay uh, outside during the summer and then you bring them back for winter, which I do and I realized that I start to have a little invasion of uh, mealybugs and also a little bit of aphids. So uh, instead of spraying like the homemade versions of uh, rubbing alcohol and soap and water and neem oils and stuff and also I don't want to use like strong chemicals especially because I'm in a home uh, environment, I mean we live here, we sleep here, we eat here, so I don't want to introduce too much poison uh, to the environment here. So I wanted to experiment with bio, uh, bio biological control, so to introduce some uh, predatory insects for those kind of pests. So uh, I received the pack today and well, let's unbox it first and then show you uh, how I'm going about it. All right, so this is the box. I bought them from a Swiss company, so a local company here. Um, well, uh, I guess I can mention the company, although I don't know how it's called again, because, uh, yeah, Andermatt Biogarten. So it's in German, of course, uh, but they have actually really, really good service and they do them in French too, which is good for me because it's my mother tongue. Uh, this is actually a catalog of order. So they also sell a lot of garden plants like fruits. And in the end you have also the catalog concerning all the pests and diseases and what they have. So yeah, great. Um, I'm not sponsored by them for this video. Uh, maybe I could have asked, but I think my channel is too small for them to be interested. It's really for me, I wanted to experiment. First thing I have to say is at least here, this kind of biological uh, pest control is rather pricey. I actually ordered two types of predator insects and it's already uh, costing me around the $50. So yeah, not cheap, but if it's working, I mean, I can see the, I can see a good reason to use it if it's really working. So the, it's really well packed because of course it's really cold and I guess that some of those uh, insects do not like cold weather. Uh, it's advised for those pre predatory insects to work in an environment where it's between 20 and 30 degrees. And, oh, hold on. <laughs> it's already time for the plants to go sleeping, but I don't want that. So, the first I have here is um, Chrysal Plarvae, if it's the same name in English. I'm gonna check and I'm gonna put it on the screen if it's another name in English. And uh, actually it's something looking like that. Hold on, let me check on the screen. There. And uh, the chrysop is a bug that uh, is like rather tiny and green when it's adult and actually it's the larvae uh, that is the, the predatory insect. So you can see the box is containing this sort of like, it's like a seed actually. And oh, I can see them move inside. So yay, yeah, they're alive. <laughs> Good. Um, those are more uh, predatory on aphids and I do have a little bit of aphids uh, on the other green wall so that's mainly for that that I uh, bought them and uh, but they also do prey on mealybugs okay so that's one second one is this one and this is a the larvae of a ladybug from I think Australia if I'm not mistaken uh, it's the one with the yellow head and the black body. Uh, the scientific name is... <laughs> we already have enough difficulties saying plant scientific names. So this is an animal one. This Cryptolamus 
Montrosieri. All right. Um, this is a box with 25 larvae and this one is 80 to 100 larvae, which is actually I think more than what I need. But this is advice for four to five plants. If you use them on house plants, like let's say you have a pot of a regular size plant, this is good for four to five. Uh, and they also, they only prey on uh, mealybugs. So yay, um, I think I have here some some uh, uh, information, so how to use them. For the ladybug, it's, I have to re release them quickly after getting them on the infested plants. It's also okay to stock them your, uh, for one to two days at a temperature of six to eight degrees, which is good to know. I don't, I'm gonna open the box after that and we're just gonna do it on the video. Yeah, this one between 22 and 30 degrees, but I think my home is actually, it's actually really professional. It's in both languages with no mistakes, at least on the French side that I can see. And this one, all right. So for this one, they say that uh, to spread the substrate with the larvae directly on the infested areas. Um, if it's on big leaf plants, just do it on the leaves. If it All right. Okay, so let's do it. So here, just to show you a little closer, the box. Oh, here, you see one? This is one. I don't think my phone can focus that close, but you see them? <laughs> and if I can open this one to see how it looks like inside. It's a bit hard to do with one hand only, but... Yeah. Okay, let me be right back. Oh, there we go. All right, so they are here, and you see those mealy things? Oh, this one is actually already escaping. Stay back in there. All right, so they look like mealy bugs, but they are actually the uh, predatory stuff. So I it's good not to treat after you release them because sometimes you can like uh, mistakenly find them to be looking like mealybugs and kill them instead of killing the mealybugs. All right, so let's go and spread them. All right, so this is a Ripsalis I have here and as you can see, there is a really bad infestation of mealybugs and actually, I don't know, it's maybe really cruel on, on my part, but I let them uh, go a bit wild because I really wanted to see this kind of biological control, how efficient it would be. So I'm gonna spread uh, them on the, on the plant. If I can do it. Okay, so I opened the thing again and let's see how I can go about it. You know what, I really need to get a tripod. Alright, so we're here. Sorry for the break, but I think I really need my two hands for this job. So, if you can see, there is one here, just at the edge, if it wants to focus. So, I'm gonna try to lead it on this piece of the plant. Okay, it's a bit hard if I'm always moving. Maybe if I just take my fingers and push it. It's still on the box. Oh, let's do like that. Okay, it fell, but it's still 
on the substrate there. I sew it. So they say four, four to five per plant. Now what I'm gonna do is take this little piece of cardboard out really delicately, delicately. And like, see if I have any on them. And if I have, okay, there is nothing that I can see here. I just put it on there in case there is one hiding that I don't see. Okay, there there is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, exactly. So they say five for a plant and this one is really badly infested. So I'm just gonna leave that there and let them work. So. I don't know if you saw something, but hopla. there you go. There is the substrate, like the little support in the form of a piece of cardboard where the larvae were uh, attached, like living on them. And then I just I put it there on the plant and the larvae are gonna travel on the plants by themselves. So, all right, so this is for this one. And uh, for the other one, I'm gonna see how to do it and come back to you. Uh, so now for the second part, we are at the bottom of my uh, green wall and this is the plant infected with aphids. It's all, actually not the only one. There is also a Hoya a bit further up, but this one is quite easy to take with the, a video with a tripod. So I'm gonna do it on this one. I have a mosquito flying around. Mm, I don't like mosquitoes. But anyway, so this one, they say that for a large leaf plant, just have to spray a little bit of this medium, including the larvae, directly on the leaf. So, let's do it. Let's hope it stays there. Do I have some on it? I see one, two, three. All right, so let's do a little bit more. Four, five. All right, so this is this part and the part under it also a little bit. This is less infected, but still. All right, I have some on there. And then I think I'm gonna sprinkle it a little bit everywhere on the green wall. Let me get you closer to see. We can see the little bees crawling. So. Okay, this video is a bit messy. But as I said yesterday, I'm not gonna edit videos anymore. So, hope you bear with me. All right, so do we see any? Oh, yes, here. Do you see that one? And there. So it might be interesting. I think I have like a microscope camera. Might be interesting to see if I can uh, film some predatory behavior. But, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I think it's been a long time since I showed the green wall, so. It's getting there slowly. Of course, the left part is a lot more developed than the right part. Still quite bare, but I finally got the lamp up there. So uh, it's a work in progress and there are videos coming about it soon. Have some things flowering on it. There. This is a little, I think, Eschinantis or oh, yeah, I can can't remember all the names I have here and I know that up there there is a Hoya, you can see the pale green leaves and I know that this one has also aphids, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that medium around there. I have a species Anthurium in flower, uh, I have my Ludisia this color that is on the, on the wall. The plant is not doing that great but it's growing and it's actually about to flower. Uh, what else? Uh, 
This one was flowering, but it's already gone. Uh, the philodendron of Iscandens is going mad. Here I have a uh, monster. Uh, I think I don't remember if it's oblica. I think it's oblica, but I think it's called monkey leaf. There is a variety name, and also it's going berserk. So yeah, here is the aquarium. Is looking quite great. Really, really green with a lot of plants in it. And little fish. Hello, little fishy. I just bought the fish at the beginning and now they're reproducing and I haven't been buying any more fish. This is, these are the males. They're actually quite handsome. <laughs> Funny, the reflection with my fishy shirt. But yeah, they have really nice colors. Have to feed them still. But yeah, the moss is really growing, growing great. And so yeah. Anyway, so now I think you get the idea. I'm gonna sprinkle more of this medium with the larvae a little bit around there. And also, if you come back to the green wall, to the orchid wall. Uh, on that fern there because there are a little of mealybugs and I only just uh, found, found one larvae left of the ladybird ladybug ladybird <laughs> ladybug because uh, actually some of them were dead in the in the box and uh, the other ones I know that they prey on mealybugs as well actually I don't remember where, where I put it I think it was around there but yeah, I'm gonna let let nature do its stuff. But yeah, you can see like the white spots. And since it's there near the orchids, I'm afraid that uh, it's gonna spread. I know that my Amorphophallus titanum had some. You can see the uh, yellow uh, dots there. I already uh, used a wiped with uh, rubbing alcohol to get rid of them. But I'm sure it's not gonna be enough. And I know that the fires down there had some at some point and yeah anyway so i'm gonna sprinkle a bit of uh, this medium a bit everywhere and uh yeah that'll be it all right so that was it for this video it's a bit scrappy i know sorry about that but yeah <laughs> with one hand sometimes a bit difficult and uh what i want to see if it's an effective method of controlling pests uh in houseplants also, uh, the side effects, will I be invaded by like green flies in like two weeks time or will it be uh, over by then? And also to see um, now that I treated it, uh, if there is any result, how long this result will keep, like in how, mon how, how much time do I, have to, I would have to buy other insects to uh, renew the cycle so that I don't have like a uh, not break of pest so this is mostly what i want to experiment with and i will give you some updates especially on the ripsalis there because if it's working i think it's gonna be really really obvious and uh, maybe one day i find ladybugs in my apartment i'm not sure my partner will be happy with insects flying around but i don't mind that well unless if it if it's an invasion of course but yeah that was my video on my try on biological control and i'll keep you updated and thank you very much for watching and see you soon bye